Hi guys, welcome to Tech Tricks Tutorial. Today we're going to talk about 10 ways how to use Harpa AI tool. It's a step-by-step -step guide to follow easily, so don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. Let's dive right in. Now for you to be able to use Harpa AI's features, you want to make sure that it's installed in your browser. So start by opening your Chrome web browser and searching for Harpa AI. When the results load, make sure to click on the top most that appears. Here you will see Harpa AI's official website. Just click on get free plugin over here. Now you will see that you are redirected to the Chrome web store where you will be able to add this Harpa AI extension to your Chrome browser. Just click on add to Chrome here and click on add extension. After that, you can see that AI agent is installed in your browser. Now on the right side of this page, you will see the Harpa AI tool actually being launched where you will be able to type in this section your questions or your commands. Now take note that to be able to call Harpa on any website, just use Alt plus A. Now before we start with the actual presentation of the different use cases of Harpa AI, let's go back to this page and clicking on use cases over here. Now let's have a quick overview of the different uses of Harpa AI. One is for marketing and SEO, the second is for copywriting, the third is for productivity, HR and recruiting, product and development, spreadsheets, and many more. Now let's try to use Harpa AI extension. Let's start by launching the extension by clicking on Alt A and you will see that on the right, the Harpa AI extension has been launched. So what Harpa AI does is read this entire article we have here, the 23 best places to travel around the world in 2023 chosen by the experts, an article by Forbes. Now you can see here that you can either write a question or type forward slash for a quick command. Now let's type forward slash and look at the different commands that we will be able to use. So there's a command for productivity, control, SEO, SMM, e-commerce, marketing, copywriting, learning, and many more. So for productivity, you can see the different commands here. You can ask, you can compose, you can create alternatives, you can summarize, summarize an article or page, or even a YouTube video. You can create a chart from the existing data available in your page. You can extract the data from that page and many more. So for the first use case, let's try to summarize this very lengthy article as you can see from the scroll down bar over here by, by clicking on this summary button over here. After that, we will be asked for a summary format that we want this article to be summarized as. We can choose from any of these available options here or we can type our custom answer in this section. Now let's just choose text and from there you can see Harpa's summarized text where this lengthy article became this short of a text. Earlier we summarized a lengthy article, now let's try to summarize this YouTube video by Ted Ed called three tips on how to study effectively. Either choose this prompt over here that has been readied or type slash forward and look for the YouTube video summary button over here. Again, we are asked to choose a summary format from these options here or type a custom instruction. Now let's try typing a bulleted list as the custom instruction. And in an instance, you can see that Harpa did make a bulleted list of the summary of this video. Other than typing a command, we can also ask a question to Harpa. Let's try asking what are the three tips mentioned in the video. Here are the three tips mentioned in the video. Next we have here is the article the 10 best basketball shoes of 2023 so far. You can see here a list of the different basketball shoes including their prices. 
So what we want to do here is try to extract the data from this web page. Let's do that by typing slash forward and looking for the extract data button. Let's click on that. From here, we are presented different options that we want our data to be extracted. Let's say we want a tabular data. And from here, we can see that Harpa AI generated a table including the name of the shoes and the basketball player associated with the shoes as well as the price of the shoes. Say you've worked on a lot of commands and want to clear your working space, just type forward slash and type clear and click on this button. And from there, you can see that the chat has been cleared and once again, you have a clean working space. Say you're a social media manager or a content creator and you're running out of ideas, the good thing is that Harpa AI can actually help you generate ideas. Just open chat and look for SMM over here, scroll down a bit, and you will see social media content ideas. Click on that. Here you will be asked to enter a platform, the type of content, the topic, and the potential audience that you want. Say you're managing a YouTube account, just type in YouTube, and you want to make short videos, and those videos are about food or mukbang, where your target audience is everyone. And from this prompt, you can see that Harper provided 10 unique and engaging post ideas that you can use, including the title of the video, the visual content, the text content, including the hashtags that you can use for your video. Now, another good news is that whether you're an advanced programmer or just want to get started with programming, Harpa AI can actually help you with that. Just type forward slash and go to the engineering section. From here, you can see the different programming languages that you can work with, such as Python, JavaScript, Java, and many more. Let's put that to test by clicking on Java Pro. Now let's ask Harpa if it can write a code to display the message hello. And you can see that Harpo provided a Java code snippet that displays the message hello, including the explanation of the snippet. If you're looking for inspiration or motivational codes, Harpa has got you covered. Just type forward slash and type in inspirational. And you can see here that inspirational codes is actually one of Harpa's features. Just click on this. You will be asked to input a problem area to get inspiring codes from. As you can see here, I inputted the pressure felt by young adults in their 20s and Harpo provided 10 inspirational quotes, including the writer of that quote. Now the last use case that I will be presenting to you is the mid-journey prompt wizard. This creates mid-journey prompts for you, especially if you're running out of ideas. All you have to do is type in a keyword, topic, or idea that you want to draw. Say for example, giraffe. Harpa provided the photorealistic image prompt artistic image prompt, abstract, minimalistic, graffiti-inspired prompts just as needed. So that's all for this video. If you like this tutorial, just give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe so you can tune in to the next one.